just in terms of the relationship between the royal family here and California, it's already strained, I think it's fair to say. Is this going to make it worse? This could stand to make it worse, for sure. And we had thought it was starting to thaw. You know, things seemed better between, uh, between Harry and his father, between Harry and Charles. I mean, I don't think there was any progress between Harry and William. But yes, absolutely. I mean, Charles would be incredibly disappointed that he's about to actually be the star of the show at COP28 mm -hmm. in Dubai on a cause that's hugely important to him. And obviously, this has kind of blown it out of the water. Mm -hmm. So he will be incredibly frustrated about that. Now, I actually personally think that, and I usually say never complain, never explain. On this occasion, I think the royal family should actually confirm the names. And I'll tell you why. why. Because the big risk to them here is actually not the names. The big risk is which version of events you believe. Do you believe it was concern or do you believe it was curiosity? And if they can clear that up in a definitive way, assuming that their position is that it was curiosity, then that will benefit them more than keeping them... But don't you, you then feed into the narrative that's being put in front of you. So so then what happens? So you confirm the names, then, then you're if dragged into... If indeed these are. If they are indeed the names. If then you're dragged names. into a bigger yes, argument, exactly. aren't you? Well, what I have, the, the difficulty for them is that they look like they're hiding something if they don't. And it, it was very important that they didn't try and sue anyone because that would really have looked like they were sweeping something incredibly serious under the carpet. But to the public, it, the risk is that they look like they've got something to hide. Whereas if they kind of be open, it's a, it's a matter of the public interest. You know, matters relating to race in a public institution are a matter of the public interest. So if they were to confirm it, and they were to put a different narrative to, to the one Meghan put to Oprah, it would put those comments that Meghan made in a whole new light and they would potentially be very difficult to rebroadcast in the future. I wonder if there's a danger, though, that if you do that and you respond to this, you then open up this tit for tat uh, across and, the and Atlantic. That, is a, oh, that would be the risk. And then yes. we get another version and then we get another version. Yeah, uh, Meghan then well, comes back and says something new. It, yeah. it, if indeed, you know, we haven't heard from the Sussexes about this, have we? What, what this is all about is Omid Scobie's book, yeah. which he claims does not have the collaboration of Harry and Meghan, in which these two names uh, appear in a version in the Netherlands. And it's about letters that were supposedly exchanged between the king and his daughter-in-law, Meghan. What do the Sussexes do? Here, do they come out and distance themselves publicly? There, there was it. There was a degree of kind of off the record distancing that took place, I think, before the book ever came out, um, in, but from sources, anonymous sources, and um, there is a but degree of distancing. But we had that with distance. Finding Freedom. As we well, had that. Well, this right? is the trouble: is no one's going to believe it. We've also had it in the in the Telegraph overnight. There's been a little bit more kind of off the record distancing from them. No one's going to believe it, um, be precisely because we had it confirmed in court that um, Meghan had authorised her spokesperson to give information for Finding Freedom. Mm. So there is a bit of a risk to them because. They, the big salutary lesson for them was that they have spent too much time attacking the monarchy on the same points over and over again. And Americans started to turn against them for it. So they could stand to, to do something. But I think if they burn Omid, that's also going to look bad but for them. But it's also one of the points he makes in his book, isn't it? They're really excited, looking forward to yes, the exactly. projects they've got coming up. They exactly. don't want to look back anymore. But this book, whether or not they have had any participation in it, takes us right back. It takes us to right back. Oprah. I'll tell you what they could do. They could clarify definitively. It really sounds like from Harry's comments in January that he does not actually believe it was concerned. That and he this is where he curiosity. said it wasn't we racism. did never we, we never, never made the racism. We never accused them of racism. So what he what they could do is they could come out and confirm that actually Megan's use of the word concern was perhaps not the best choice of word and switch it to curiosity because they can't burn Omid. If they if they burn Omid, then it feeds into that narrative that Megan ditches people at the drop of a hat. Well, and Ooh, of course, it's all a mess. Well, it, well, it's a massive mess, and retribution <laughs> or it is best served cold, isn't it? It's a dish best served cold. I mean, it is everywhere in the papers. Where, where, where do you stand in terms of public opinion? My personal feeling is actually it will strengthen the palace. I think many people in this country are sick and tired of hearing of the Sussexes. There's, a, there's an age divide there. Um, mm. And this is where it gets difficult for the monarchy. Older people will feel exactly the way you do and will back <laughs> <Thanks>. the royals. <laughs> but young people are starting to become much more negative about monarchy. And the trouble for the royals is that they need to not carry public opinion by one or two or five percent. The whole point of the monarchy is that they give us this space where people can feel uh, very positive about their country, very positive about their place in the world in a way that's uncomplicated. As mm. soon as it becomes a divisive issue where one half of the country thinks one thing and one 
can't have a country thinks the other, something is already lost. So that's why if this new generation of young people become entrenched in this view that monarchy is a divisive subject, that, and they retain that opinion into later life, then it could become a real problem for the royals. Yeah.